Okay, so the cast shadow. Bring this back up here. Because our car cannot float in the air on those. And so I'm going to start over here, this tire right here, okay? And it looks like uh, the underneath side here, i got to even this out a little bit. But underneath the tire, there's a band that's coming across here. And I'm going to put it just in front of the tire a little bit. And it's a, it's, it kind of goes across um, horizontal, huh? And let's say that it's about a quarter of an inch thick. And I'm just going to make this a, into a dark gray currently. It will eventually go darker. And so it's coming here horizontal across this area here. Um, like that. Yeah, there was a little dip there, huh? Okay. So then that band we're going to take across. It's going to hit that tire there. I'm going to switch tools here. This is a 6B pencil. And so I got my initial part of my cast shadow in with that. That's cool. That's that band. Now, from here, there's a little diagonal section that comes down. Okay, so I'm going to say that this is that little diagonal section that comes down. Then there's a little, little cutout part of it, and then it continues to come down. But there's a white line area between that first shadow piece that I put in and the second shadow piece, and it goes about to the middle of the car, the white line. Okay, that white little thing, and then it, it narrows it gets closer together and it finally disappears maybe in that area. And so I'm going to take and I'm going to put that gray value in so I can see where the shadow is before I go darker. And I'm going to have to decide what I want to be darker. Do I want the, the, the black part underneath the car to be darker or do I want the cast shadow to be darker? That's a great question. I have a tendency to think that the shadow should be darker eventually. Okay, so now I'm just filling that in here, right? That still just has that, that gray so we know where things are. Now, in front, there's a little bit of a, of a diagonal thing too. So it, it starts about where this one, one piece of chrome is right here, right? And so if I go down here, and I'm going to go down about like that, and I, I make this angle up a little bit, right? Maybe about to that. Maybe the other piece. Maybe about, that's too that's too tight, isn't it? You're right. And so from chrome to chrome. Is where that one is, and then this one is a little pointy, pointy piece, and then it comes down diagonal over here in front of the tire, well in front of the tire, like that. And let's put that in as a gray so we know where it is. And it goes off the page. How high does the cast shadow go up on the side over here? And so I'm looking over here and it's about the same height of the bottom of this thing, so right about this height, if I go over here, I just go across, that's the height of my cast shadow, is about right there. And so this is filled in here. I'm going to shade from the tire over to the edge, and then run the pencil off the edge, and just bring that down. So now I have the location of the cast shadow. Let's just pull that off and take a uh, more of a global look. So now we look at the vehicle and say, hey, it's actually on the surface. It's not just floating in the air. That's the reason for the cast shadow. Is, and I just wanted to show you that one. Now, now I've got to make it darker on those ones. And I'm, 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 I'm going to go a little circle, circular darker here uh, on that, making little circle patterns. Because the ground in itself is not the same texture. It's not a smooth texture. It's kind of a gravelly texture. So I'm repeating that gravelly texture in the darker values with the little circular shading technique, making little curly cues in through here. And so that's creating a different 
texture um, and read as a different surface. So filling in the areas now with the curly cues. Let me come back over here, a little curly cues. And I can actually leave a little bit of a lighter area there if I want. More curly cues. And you need to decide, like I said, which is going to be darker. Is it going to be the, the black plastic piece underneath the, the car, on the front of the car, or is it going to be the cast shadow? For me, cast shadow. So right along this edge here, I can come in like this and darken in the very darkest right along that edge so that the cast shadow is darker than um, the black plastic piece. And uh, I've kind of incidentally put in um, a little bit of a lighter area on that. And that might be too light. And I'll go back in and I'll, I'll mute that down a little bit. But I do want the cast shadow to be the darkest. And then back to my circles. Circle, 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 circle. Away from the circles because I'm trying to get that a little bit darker right on there. Now I'll build down from that line with circles. More circles. Now remember I said I can darken that in. There's a little bit of a white line under there. It's too white and it's too broad. So I'm just going to gray it out a little bit. More like that. You can still see it. But it doesn't have to be um, white. Okay, more circles. Pencil's getting kind of dull, so I'm going to have to sharpen that bad boy up again there. More circles. First, more sharpening. So the bare minimum is putting in the cast shadow underneath. So I've almost got the bare minimum in here. I personally am going to go ahead and add in the rest of it too, um, but we don't need to talk about that today. I can talk about that another time. So I got circles going on here as my fill, my fill texture. Small to medium circles on that one. There was a hard spot in my pencil right there. And the edge does not have to be a sharp edge. This should be um, a, a rough edge, a gravelly edge, a softer edge on the on the cast shadows on those. Um, just because the surface that it's on is not a hard surface. It's a gravelly surface, right? Uh, as shown by our circle pattern of shading. And so as such, the edge does not have to be clean. It can be a little bit rougher. Okay. And then we'll continue our cast shadows off to the side here using our circular technique. And I want it to be actually darker underneath the tire with a little bit of a, of a gray boundary between the tire and the shadow. might have to go with another coat of circles here. Circle, circle, circle. Tiny circles up here. slightly bigger circles as we come down. So there's my first application of my cast shadow. So now the car has some context. It's not flying through the air. It's sitting down someplace on some sort of a surface um, for us to draw on that. So that's cool.